Oh, hey guys. Shh. Okay. Okay, some really weird things have been happening. And so that's why I'm hiding here uh, under my couch. Yep. So, you know, come to think of it, it all didn't start happening until I got out. Jeez, it's happening again. Ow. It's happening again. Ow. Until I got, until I got this. So here's what's going on. This is the RevelPoint Range 3D Scanner, and it's incredibly cool, so you'll understand why I was super excited when RevelPoint wanted to sponsor this video. Because 3D scanning is the future, and it's very likely to kill 3D modeling entirely. How entirely is yet to be found out. So, out of the box, we have the RevelPoint Range 3D Scanner. And in the box, it gives you a bunch of handy sticker points for putting on your objects for scanning. Anytime you have an object that doesn't have much definition, you might want to sticker it up and you'll have more tracking points for the 3 scanner to capture it accurately. A USB-C to USB-A adapter. RevelPoint makes multiple 3D scanners. The POP series is one of their most popular. This one being the range is capable of scanning larger objects. As it's got the two depth sensors on either side of the scanner, as you can see here, an adjustable handheld tripod, a portable stick battery. This is really cool because not only can you connect the scanner to a laptop or computer, you can also connect it up to your phone and capture 3D scans on the go. There's also a handy dandy phone holder. For iOS users like I have here, you just connect the scanner to the battery and after powering on the 3D scanner, connect to the RevoPoint Wi-Fi network on your phone. Also, Android users can connect the phone to the scanner directly with the USB-C connector on the included 2-in-1 cable. The battery is only necessary when you're using it with the phone. Today, since we're in the studio, we're going to be doing some capturing with a laptop. Now there's a lot of use cases for a 3D scanner and you can scan practically everything if you do it right. I was just having fun going around and scanning everything I could find in the studio. Using the turntable add-on accessory that you can also purchase made 3D scanning really fun because it was actually completely hands-off. All you had to do was set down your object, set down your scanner, and then using RevelPoint's simple and straightforward software, it was super easy to start capturing data. Now for the highest accuracy scans with the RevelPoint range 3D scanner, you're gonna want your objects to be around two feet from the scanner. And of course you can move your scanner from there for bigger objects and is capable of tracking your object and scanning a lot more than just something two feet in front of it. RevoPoint's software for 3D scanning is super easy to use, even for complete beginners that have never done any 3D scanning before. After processing an entire scan, which consists of making sure that the object has been scanned from every different angle, you can go ahead and click the fusion option, which fuses all of those points that the 3D scanner has captured together. Then you can go ahead and change it into a mesh. The auto settings throughout the software is impressively good, but you can also go ahead and tweak the level of detail Detail that you want these scans to be processed at. Then you can even go ahead and texturize your 3D scans, which is really cool, as the scanner captures full color textures as well. So I had a ton of fun with this, scanning multitudes of objects that I could find in my studio. And that is why everywhere I go, this happens. This is actually really cool because doing visual effects like you just saw there is made simpler and easier using the range 3D scanner because one of the cool features of this is that you can scan human bodies. And for doing this sort of visual effects, I just went ahead and created a complete 3D scan of my body. Hair can sometimes be a little bit trickier for a scanner, so I'm just making it really easy by wearing a hat. With the help of an assistant, I managed to scan my entire torso up to the top of my head, which is going to be used then in visual effects, which then after processing and texturing, I can take it into to Blender and use this for the visual effects that you just saw by using it as a collider object for all of these rigid body physics. So it's a super quick way to get a complete 3D model of my body and have it interact with 3D assets. Also being that you're capturing textures means that when I use it to render those assets out, I can also use it to cast shadows and light bounces to those assets for even more realism, which then when you line it up with live footage can interact with the 3D world seamlessly. So I've really been enjoying using this. And when scanning everyday objects is as simple as as it is with your RevelPoint scanner, you go ahead and you scan absolutely everything, and then you can use these assets to drag and drop them in any of your 3D rendering scenes, and fill out your scenes super quickly and realistically without having to 3D model all of these individual assets. So in my testing with RevelPoint's range 3D scanner, I was really impressed at the quality of it. If you've ever used an iPhone and the LiDAR scanner to do some simple 3D scanning, this is basically that, but a lot better, where you have a much higher accurate scan, and with the multiple sensors in the smart 
AI software is capable of tracking objects and scanning them way more accurately to real world scale. So I see this as being a useful tool if you're someone that does a lot of 3D scanning and you want to have quick results. You can go from nothing to finished high quality scans with this in a matter of a few minutes. Now, will it be completely killing 3D modeling? Well, that is yet to be seen, but I'll likely be using it as a cheat code in the future and cutting back on the amount of 3D modeling that I do because I can quickly whip out some 3D scans with it. If you're interested in the RevoPoint range 3D scanner, check it out with the link in the video description. Now that I have all of these cool 3D assets, I'm gonna start creating some scenes to incorporate all of these 3D. Oh, gee, I shouldn't have said anything. All right, uh, see you later, guys. Peace.